Hello and welcome to Thought for January the 5th. Our readings are Genesis chapters 9 and 10, Psalms 11, 12 and 13, and Matthew chapter 7. And our thought is, the floods came and the winds blew. Today we have the simple lessons Jesus taught. They are lessons of life or death, of eternal existence or oblivion, in an eternal sense. There are only two alternatives before each of us. Our chapter 7 in Matthew's Gospel opens out to us the simple but profound teaching of Jesus on the pathways of life that lay before each one of us. Are we building our ways of life on the rock of truth or on the shifting sands of human opinion and resultant behaviour? Jesus said, Everyone who hears these words of mine, or reads them, and does not do them, well, his life is built on sand. And when God acts, says Jesus in this parable, the rain of his judgments will come and beat against that house, and it fell, and great was the fall of it, we read in verses 26 and 27. How awesome will be the wind and the floods that the Creator will bring, and very soon on our increasingly godless world. Let us remember clearly the words we read in Hebrews last month. What a grim and blunt warning it was. If we go on sinning deliberately after receiving the knowledge of the truth, there no longer remains a sacrifice for sins, but a fearful expectation of judgment and a fury of fire. Chapter 10, verses 26 and 27. Let us live more and more in ways which show our faith and our expectation of divine deliverance. And then, what spiritual strength we will develop. Then, as a result, the words of Jesus we will read in Matthew chapter 24 will apply to us, as we sense the climax is near. In verse 13 we read, But the one who endures to the end will be saved. And in verse 22, For the sake of the elect, those days will be cut short. May our faith become so strong that we will be counted as a being among the elect as the fearsome winds of God's judgments blow and we see the floods of his anger starting to spread over the world more and more. Well, thank you for joining us for Thought for the Day once more where together we can open up the pages of God's Word. We have such a privilege knowing that that word is a lamp to our feet and a light to our path.